I'm Dory. And I'm Dee. And we are the Design Dreamers. Yeah. Big on the dreaming. <laughs> Sorry, didn't mean to cut you. <laughs> Woo. All right. So hard when we're not together. I know. It's really a challenge. But one of these days we'll be back together and we'll have a little more cues as to when we're supposed to speak with each other. <laughs> you get that signal we need. Hey, Nate, yeah. hi. You gonna say hi to us? Say hi to everybody. Wait, yep, yeah, he's waving. Uh, we have a saying today. Can you see it? If you have good thoughts, they will shine out of you, out of your face like sunbeams, and you'll always look lovely. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, because the eyes have, it has been said, the eyes are like windows to your soul, to, to who you are. And even if we all are wearing masks, you can smile and then your eyes smile and everybody can see that. So, yay! Love that. You look lovely today and then give us a big smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we're going to just show a couple of things we have coming up for future makes. Right? Yes. Yes, that's what we're doing today. Okay. So, um, do you want to go or do you want me to? Um, I'm so, uh, let me go first. I'm so excited about this first make that I want to do. This is a 1950s vintage pattern from Simplicity. Mm -hmm. Eight, four, oh, five, two. <laughs> I always cover myself up. That's all right. Okay. You so I, I think it's, I am excited to see how this makes up. Are you doing um, the top or the, oh, there is no skirt. That is just there the top. Is no okay. skirt. It's just the top. And it's, it's kind of strange. I don't know if you can see the line drawings in the back. They give you instructions once you have sewed it as to how to put it on. And there's even more detailed instructions on the inside in the pattern that shows you how to put it on. And I read a couple of pattern reviews on this and they said, um, it is a challenge to learn how to put it on. So I'm kind of excited to see what it's going to be and what it's going to turn out. They said it's easy to sew, simple to sew. Of course, they give you the vintage um, instructions of, you know, on it. And it, it includes a lot of hand sewing. But on the pattern reviews, a lot of the ladies said, just, you know, just use your discretion and sew it up on the sewing machine where you think you can. And then you can get rid of a lot of that hand sewing. And it doesn't even take a yard of fabric. It takes stretch knit, but it says, even the large size, I mean, it's close enough, seven eighths of a yard. So you might as well say a yard. <laughs> um, you know what's funny? What? Just when you were showing the line drawings, did it show yes. a lady in an underslip? Put it. <laughs> yeah, she has her underclothes on. She has her underslip. Okay, that's just hilarious, I think. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> yep. And now uh, one of the suggestions was is that they said, see how short that is? Yeah. It's they feel what tucked in, but they said it literally is short. It goes right to the waist. So to if you want it longer to try to make it longer. And I think that's what I'm gonna do is try to make it longer. And they did say that to add some snap enclosures because it's just open. It just wraps around and then you tuck it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm excited to try that. And um, what I, well, the fabric that I'm gonna do with that is going to be this polka dotted fabric. Oh, yay! graced me with, it was left over. There's just, just over a yard here. So that's what I'm gonna do and it's a stretch knit. And um, I'm looking forward to, I'm excited about, oh, about <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stand so, on the words if you want to see it. <laughs> that's my first that's my first make. They said it's really easy to do, but the challenge will be trying to get it on. I'll let you ladies know and hopefully you'll be seeing it pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> and if you very good. That's my, my uh first make that I have planned. That is so funny because the first make that I'm planning on making is also leftover fabric. From oh, the piece to make. It's the one that I made the long jacket to match that. So oh, stretchy fabric. And mm -hmm. I had just a yard, a little over a yard left over. So uh, you've seen this pattern before. 
but I'm hoping to make this here out of it. Nice. Yeah. So uh, this is a new look, 6530, and I'm planning on making this. I'm thinking I have enough fabric. It seemed like it. <laughs> <laughs> I need two of them. Oh, two dip, two one and a half inch D rings. D as in D and Dory in design. There you oh, yay! <laughs> Oh, you could get yourself a whole nother outfit. You you know, then you have a skirt or slacks with it. You have the duster jacket over that. Yeah. Very good idea. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. So all that's right. My first make. I have three all together. How many do you have all together? Oh, I have two. You have two? Sorry. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Is that your minky? Robe? No, no, no. I've got oh. that. Yeah. I'm I'm um uh, I'm working on my robe, my plush robe that I'm making with leftover fabric. Um, I am working on putting on the sleeves. That's where I'm at with that. So almost done. You do have three then makes. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have three makes to show. Yeah. If I, I should. The next one I have decided to make is going to be made, made out of this really pretty dark. It's got a blue color to it. Bluish green. It's a more of a dark blue. It's, it is a jersey knit. Okay. Kind of like t-shirt material, only a little bit. A little bit heftier, not too much heftier, but a little bit heftier than that. Mm -hmm. And I plan on making, oh, thank you, Nathan. Um, I plan on making Simplicity 8991 out of that. And the longer, the version actually that she's wearing, this is a pattern, but I want to make the longer one because we're getting into fall and it'll be nice to have. And I love the, um, I don't know what that type of collar is called. Um, I don't know what that's called. I'll have to look that up. I apologize. But anyway, I'll figure that out and let you know. Hopefully oh, neckline. <laughs> it is called a neckline. Yes, that neckline. Yes, you're right. It's not a collar. You are right. It is a neckline. Oh, well, there you go. But that's my next make. So a nice basic top, I'm thinking, yeah. out of uh, this nice jersey knit, nice. which has laundered beautifully. So, and I have no clue where I got this fabric from. No idea. My stash. Yeah. Out of my sewing. <laughs> well, you know, I'm quite a bit about thrifting. So I am using up some leftover fabrics, like the, the one I just showed you. So this next one, I haven't, I'm, I'm trying to decide which pattern, and I haven't figured out how much fabric I have to use to make the pattern. So first I'll show you the fabric. So it was from my poetry blouse, that purple satiny. Yes. Yes. And then this here, I made the skirt out of. Yes, I what love that. What I like to do is combine the two to make a top. Okay? They so coordinate you know, well. So. You, know, like, you know, oh! Something like that, um, or something like that. Uh, you'd need a lot of fabric for that, McCall's. Oh, Sorry. yeah, I think that'd be too many, huh? Yeah, I think. I think that's that's similar to the other one. That yeah. Happened. Too much fabric. So I might end up with this. It just depends uh, of how much fabric I actually have. Um, yeah. I normally kind of have that figured out before I come on. But last week, I was laid up for the entire week with a bad back. So last week was gone. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing accomplished at all. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's that's what I'm going to do is take these two fabrics, put them together for a blouse of some some short, sort, some, some short. Some short, no, it's not short, blouse. Some short, <laughs> blouse, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then my last one is um, a, an older lady had saw our video on YouTube and she was just getting ready to donate some fabric to Goodwill and she said, why don't I just donate it to you, Dory? I'm like, yeah. Oh, you mean an older lady like you? Oh, she's in her 90s. Oh, so we've got a long, you've got a long ways to go before you get to 90. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm, yes, quite a ways away from that. So, yeah. um, but I thought this was such fun fabric that she gave me. It is. It's and it's cute. kind of like a crepe fabric. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, I have laid out and I'm getting ready to make 
the Liberty dress. Oh, Is now where did you? Now that's unusual for us. We don't usually use patterns that are not from the big three in, in uh, where are we? In the United States, sorry. <laughs> in the United States, it's a little slow. I need more coffee this morning. Yeah, so I've never ever used it. Um, the Liberty, I guess this is the Liberty Patent Company. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't even know, but I love, I love the envelope because it opens on the side instead of the top. Oh, hey, nice. my simplicity, McCall's Vogue and new look. I like it on the slide, opening up much easier. Yeah. Than I notice. Yes. And the paper much. is, instead of the tissue paper, it's more of a... It's oh, a it's much heavier. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that will be fun. So the way that I got this pattern was all of you guys who are over in the England area, Australia, and all of that, uh, you guys probably are very familiar with a magazine called Sewing, Simply Sewing. Okay. Well, it's not something that we have here in the United States. Where <laughs> <You're that's> <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I... I, um, because I've been watching other people's YouTubes and stuff, I'm like, I want to, I want to know about this magazine. So we have a store called Barnes and Nobles and, um, because of COVID, they don't have the latest magazines of hardly anything. They said they're just having a hard time getting their, their magazines. So this was the, the spring one. Uh, yeah. And it was, uh, issue 65, but I found it at Barnes and Nobles and it came with this pattern from Berta and this pattern from the Liberty dress. That is fantastic. So you get two I got regular two patterns, patterns with the magazine. And wow. Barnes and Nobles, you can have a account with them and get a discount. So I got a discount on top of it. So um, I was really excited. And as I was looking through this magazine, I just really, really love it. I wish we had something like this here in from the comparable yeah <laughs> but anyway um it did say in there there was a way a website to subscribe to it now it's quite pricey because it's coming from overseas but um, it always comes with patterns it always comes with a pattern like these are the back oh so, so either you you can look at it either you're getting the patterns free or the magazine free yeah if you pay full price for patterns, which we never do. <laughs> but but anyway. So anyway, for this one, I thought I got the magazine and the two patterns and the discount on top. So I was pretty excited about it. And um, I'll put a link below of the site where if you want to subscribe to it, you can. Like I said, it's a little bit pricey. But um, if I'm going to subscribe to one sewing magazine, I've decided it's going to be Simply Sewing from the UK. So... Anyway, uh, yes, so that's my mix. So don't forget to have good thoughts and let your face shine like sunbeams because then you will always look lovely. So that's our concluding thought for today. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye, -bye. We appreciate it. Hit like, Bye -bye. subscribe, comments. Bye, Nate. You have a good Bye -bye. day. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> a lady in Spain? <laughs> we didn't talk about a lady in Spain. Yes, you have. <laughs> you said there was a drawing with a lady in Spain. <laughs> <laughs> I said the lady with the undergarments on. Oh, on the, <laughs> on, on the vintage pattern. Yes. <laughs> oh, what about it? The, the top, the bra. Oh my goodness, she doesn't even have a slip on? <laughs> no, she doesn't, I know. <gasps> they allowed that back then? <laughs> oh, maybe it is a slip. I don't know. Maybe it is a slip. Maybe it is a slip. It's a full it's slip to me. It looks like a, you know, a full slip, but yeah. you can't find very many of those today, so. Yeah, it's probably most people wouldn't even know what a full slip is anymore. But yeah. you know what grandma would say, for shame. Yeah, that's why I'm shocked it's on the back of that pattern. Hilarious.
Okay, so here are the step-by-step -step instructions of how to put that blouse on. And there's that lady in the underslip again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yep, there she is in her underslip. So, so um, yeah, as the review said, making it's not the hard part. Putting it on is. Well, so. <laughs> and if you don't have any buttons or snaps, what kind of waistband? You have to have like a really tight waistband. To keep it from, I mean, I, I hold it me, tight. <laughs> so I will be putting some closures on it. Oh, that's my yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put some closures and try to make it just a little bit longer. So we'll see. And don't forget, you can only wear it with a long underslip. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be anxious to see it all finished and on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, get it on. That'll be the next thing. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah.